There's thousands of injuries from school buses every year. Should children on board school buses be wearing seat belts? An Agassiz school bus driver has been petitioning for exactly that. The petition has been online now for about 10 months and has over 106,000 signatures. Gary Lillico, the driver who started the campaign, says his concerns came from situations he sees happen all the time on his own bus. The kids need to be safe. We wear them everywhere else, and it's really important that the kids should be protected from all those kinds of injuries. Recently, a report from Transport Canada that was written in 2010 was made public. It says it conducted a study which determined buses may not provide adequate safety for all those on board, depending on the type of accident. Meanwhile, staff at Change.org, where the petition is active, say they're overwhelmed by the support they're seeing. Seeing over 106,000 signatures really shows us that this is an issue that's important to Canadians, that Canadians want to see seatbelts on school buses, and that it's important to so many people. Well, yeah, I think they definitely should. For sure. Yeah, and if you don't have a seatbelt, you could fly forward and hit the kid in front of you. For sure, because it's very important for kids and for the driver. Uh, your mom tells me she would like to see seatbelts on school buses. Do you agree with her? I do agree with her. Uh, yeah, they should be mandatory. I guess because I have two small kids right now, I would like them to be belted in, but I would never have thought that before having kids. Now, according to change.org, the petition will remain active for an unfixed period of time, depending on whether it catches the attention of Transport Canada. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.